So one of my students um, has requested for me to do a video on percentages. So, you know, percentages, is, you know, we actually use percentages every day, whether you realize or not. So even if you actually, um, you have some money in your pocket and you use a fraction of it, you're actually using up some, you're actually using um, percentages, you're actually using a, a, a part of it or some of it. So we'll be looking at that. So if for if let us look at percent, so what is a percent? So a percent, uh, we use this symbol to represent percent. So as, this, as it suggests, percent. So what it's really saying is that um, well, whenever we try to represent a percent or whenever we, we are representing percent, we always write this over a hundred because it is actually for each cent is actually you actually like hundreds of it. And and everything that you have is actually a hundred percent. So if you have two hundred dollars, so that's basically a hundred percent of two hundred dollars. So hundred percent of two hundred dollars is two hundred dollars. So if you should take twenty dollars out of the two hundred, actually taking away a, a, a percent of it. So we can know how much money would it be? How much money would I be taking out of this? $200. If I take 20% of it, 10% of it, 5% of it, 3% of it. So we actually can see actual values coming out of this entire money. And so we can have a clear understanding. So a percent is out of 100. So anything that you want, any, anything as a percent you're trying to find, you must divide it by 100. So for, for argument's sake, if I want to find the value of if I want to represent 5%, I would write 5 over 100. If I want to say 2%, it will be 2 over 100. If it's 3, if I want to find 3% of something, it's basically 3 over 100. So anything that you find the percent of, you actually put it over 100, all right? So let's look at, let's look at some examples. Now, if I, want to, if I have, say I have $200, and I want to find, um, say I want to use 5% of this $200, how much money would I actually um, use from this $200? Well, if you if if I should ask you what is if if I should say what is five percent of two hundred dollars? Well, we could actually convert. We could re rewrite this as a fraction, which is this. And the term of is referred to multiplication. And we could multiply this by two hundred. We could also create a fraction. So we have two fractions working. With. So what we could simply do, we could do this many ways. We could actually try to cancel the zeros if we want to cancel the zeros. And then we try to simplify. Or we could, just, we could just go ahead and just simplify if we want. We could say 100 into 200, go one time, this goes two times. Or if you want to see, if you want to divide this fraction, it was 0 0.05. And if you want to times it by 200, you, can, you will get the same thing. It doesn't matter which way you want to do it. Because it's just, it's just mathematics. It can be worked in many ways. So if you look at it, though, this actually gives us 10. It actually gives us 10. So you'll be using $10 out of your $200. But what if I wanted, what if I, what if I have, what if I have the same, what if I have the same, the same money? What if I have the same money and I want, and if I spend $10, out of this two hundred dollars, and I want to know what percentage have I spent. Now, what you could do, and this is where you now there's a kind of flip, but it's basically the same concept. So, if you do an exam, and you say you got, uh, you do an exam. Let us pause this question. So you do an exam, and you got, so you do an exam. The exam is marked out of fifty. You got an exam, and you got twenty five out of it. Well, by intuition, we know that 25 is half of this. If this is basically telling us that it is 100% of total marks and you only get half of the total marks, then you, you would actually get, a, you get, you get actually get half of 100, which is 50%. But we can actually even prove it. We could say this times 100%. So what is this? This goes that, that goes at two times. So it's, this is a half, a half, a hundred is 50. And so we get 50% on the exam. So whenever you, whenever you want, whenever you actually, you want this, if you, if you have some money 
and you spend a fraction of it and you want to know how much as a percentage you would have spent, then what you would do, you would do you would look at what we call percentage will be looked at in a, in a case where you're saying your so a percentage is a part of a whole and this whole would be the two hundred dollars that you have. And the part of the whole that you'll be taking from the whole itself is a ten. So the whole would be a, this would be the, this would be the, the whole. And if you should take a, because a fraction is a part of a whole, if you should take a fraction of this whole or a part of this whole, what you're actually doing is, is, is you have, you're taking like, you're taking like 10 out of the 200. Just like you did the exam, you got 50 was the total mark, you got 25 out of the 50. So you're taking 10 out of the 200, which is the same thing as the whole. And any degree just multiply this by 100%. And so we can actually see where you can find a percent. And if you should work this out, let us see how much this will give us. Well, this is basically give us the same thing if you should look at it. If you should look at it, we say so you could say, all right, so this in this in itself goes one time, only in itself goes one time, this goes two times. And so we have now ten divided by two, which is the same thing as five. And so you would have spent uh, five percent of the money. So it's, it's just like if it's just like you're actually um, um, going this place and you need to go back to where you're coming from. You just walk, you just walk back where you do a reverse. So the percent and percentages. So so when you look at percent and per percentages, basically they are basically the same. What is like a reverse of the next one? So let's look at another example. If I have three hundred dollars and I spend twenty dollars, twenty percent of it. <laughs> doesn't matter what I write it, 300 of 20% or 20% of $300. So you have $20 of, maybe this is the way that you, you are used to it. So, so just, what we just convert this as a percent. So we have 20 over 100 times 300. I will just create a fraction. What we could do now is so basically reduce reduce the, the, the fraction. So we could say 100 itself, 100 goes three times. We can't reduce any further. So we say 20 times three give us 60 uh, divided by one and final answer would be 60. So you would have spent $60 out of the $30, out of the $300. Now if you want to prove if this is true, if you want to know if you, if you would have spent 20% of this, some amount of money, then you'll actually do this as a percentage. So you'd write 60 over 100 because this you'll be actually taking 60 out of this, that's all. And then you have to multiply this by 100%. And so you say that cancel that, that cancel, well, that can cancel anything. So you actually have 6 in itself goes one time, and, and, and what is this? 6 in this goes 5 times. So what we have is a fifth, one, one fifth times a hundred. And if you should look at this, this is actually telling us uh, we have, we could say, we could basically say, we could say five into 10 goes two times and then 20, zero, so you'll get, you actually get 20%. Or if I divide it by a hundred is 20. So you actually, you actually see that you're actually using up 20% of it. So let's look at it again. We find the percent to find the percent of something. We actually use the actual. So you're finding ten percent of fifty. You write ten over fifty times. Sorry, ten percent of fifty. You'd have would write ten over hundred times fifty. And if you want to see how much money you'd actually spend out of how much percent you'd have spent out of a certain amount of money, the amount of money that you spend would be a fraction of the total amount of money you had multiplied by 100%. And then you just simplify that uh, fraction and there you go with the answer. Percentages.